90s afro vibes and i'm loving it like i'm loving this afro vibes and you guys check out the parting space it looks really natural hey everyone and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i did this braidless crochet method install using 12 inch spring twist that i got from beyond beauty on amazon i'll put all the information in my description bar down below on this hair i wasn't going to do any regular spring twist i wanted like a fast and go like crochet and go so i went ahead and i did the braidless crochet method and i did the knotless method to the parting space if you are interested to see how i installed and style these braids well keep on watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't as yet give this video a big thumbs up and to comment down in the comment section bar down below so with no further ado let's jump right into this install so the hair that i'm going to be installing today is from beyond beauty this is their 12 inch spring twist hair inside of the package it came with instructions on how to take care of the hair method on how you can install the spring twist and inside of the bag as well it came with three smaller packs of the spring twist hair and in each of the bag there is 30 strands and when you cut them in half you get 60 strands all together so this is the spring twist right here in 12 inch they also sent me some clips and came some hair the package came with three packs in all so this is a one pack two pack and i took out the other pack and it has a hair in it over it to protect the curls on it so what i'm gonna do i'm going to cut this pack in two because I want the back shorter than the front. So the product that I'm going to be using today to create my braidless crochet install is my Got To Be Blast Free Spray, my Holy Grail, my Gorilla Snot Gel right here, my Murray's Beeswax, and my Water and Conditioner. So these are all the combs I'm going to be using, my Rat Tail Comb, my Big T Comb, my Double T Comb, my triple tea comb yeah i'm going in with my my big tea comb first to clear out my hair because my hair is a bit damp so now i'm just gonna part my hair by the side where i want to do the part for my braidless crochet method so now i'm gonna go in and dab my hair with some water So now I'm just gonna go take my pony ring, go back in with my water and conditioner. So now I have my hair sleek back. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. I'm going back in with my Gorilla Snot Gel as usual to just sleek the parting area. That's the main focus because this is where you're going to see the leave out necessarily this side don't have to have a lot of gel but you can spray you got to be blast free spray on it so what I'm gonna do I'm going to just twist my hair in the back and just apply this onto it or you can use hairpins whichever one you prefer so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do have everything the way I want it I'm gonna just tie down my hair for a bit blow dry my hair and yeah
and I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna cut this into two because I want the back to be a bit shorter than the front I'm gonna cut it in half so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna open them up so after I finish cutting the spring twist into half I'm opening them up into three sections so I can use a minimal amount of hair when crocheting the braids so what I'm gonna do I'm taking my latch hook pushing it through my hair and the hairnet closing the latch hook pulling it through and I'm gonna wrap that around two times so I'm gonna be doing that for the entire section to the back I'm pushing the latch hook through my hair and the hairnet pulling through the hair close the latch hook and wrap that around two times it's your preference if you want extra security you can wrap that around three times or even four times so I'm gonna be doing that for the entire section to the back until every Everything is covered up especially my little bun so yeah I'll get back to you when I'm halfway there So I'm just working on the section where I'm going to cover my little bun to the back of my head and after I finish covering the bun I'm just continuing to do the looping method I'm just looping the hair around twice and when I get to the top portion I'm going to come back and finish up the braidless crochet method okay you guys so so far I've used one pack so I'm going to be using this other pack to finish up my entire head so I'm not gonna be using the third one because I don't want my hair to be so thick so I'm going ahead to cut this as well in half what I do I pull it close the latch hook and wrap it around two times or you can wrap it around so I'm just going to continue to fill up my hair until I get to the parting space area. So when I finish doing that, I'm going to cut off the excess net around the front portion of my head to begin the knotless crochet method. So what I'm going to do, I'm pushing my latch hook through my hair. I am splitting the hair into three as usual. I'm pushing the hair through the hook, pulling it through my hair and instead of looping two sides of the hair i'm just gonna loop one side of the spring twist hair and i'm just gonna continue to do that until the entire section is filled up with the spring twist hair so again i'm pushing the latch hook through i'm pushing the hair through the hook and i'm closing that and i'm pulling through one so I'm going to fill up that side and then I'm going to go over to the other side to complete the knotless method. And as you can see, the hair is looking pretty natural because this spring twist actually mimics my natural falsy type hair. So I'm just going to work on that until I am satisfied with everything. So I'm just continuing on the left side to fill up the parting space. So after I finish completing that side, as you can see, it looks really natural looking. I'm moving over to the right side of my hair and I'm just continuing to do the knotless crochet method by 
pulling the hair through the latch hook closing it and just looping around one end of the hair so it could look really realistic at the parting area so I'm just gonna continue to do that until my hair is filled up with the spring twist hair to create this braidless knotless crochet install this is the end result of my braid lash crochet install you guys you guys were asking for more natural hair videos so I went ahead and I did this style for you guys I hope you like it when I finished last night I just went ahead to layer the braids just like how it is it's giving me 90s afro vibes and I'm loving it like I'm loving this afro vibes and you check out the parting space. It looks really natural It looks like it's mimicking my natural forcey hair, which I love I really hope you guys enjoy this video and until next time see you in my next one and always remember to put God first in everything that you do See you later